Hello guys and welcome to the uh, showcase for a, a, a pivot indicator I've designed um, and uh, before I start showing it I want to kind of talk a little bit more about you know the biggest a big problem that I came across uh, and uh, you know is basically detecting pivots in price uh, let's talk about price first so like you know the classical ways like you get a bar pattern like this or like a bar pattern you know like this I'm not gonna I mean obviously you have them the other way around as well right uh, facing down which is like pivot down and this will be like I'll be calling this pivot up okay but like I mean and then you you know you start thinking okay so this is fine this is fine but like what if you get like a double top okay what if you get like you know like a five bar double top or like or like I don't know a triple top or like I don't know and there's so many variations and I mean this pivot is very nice and it's like a perfect world pivot but like I mean why should it be you know worse than I don't know then 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 this pivot for example I mean or I mean I would say I mean this is not a bad pivot either you know uh or like so so they're like or I mean and then you could have this combination and you could have I don't know uh, so this could go like this, this could go, so this is also a, a pretty cool pivot, so, I mean, that's first of all, and then, uh, second of all, when you start looking at indicators, you know, that have very small stuff going on like that, you know, you have, you start getting like millions of pivots on like, where there are no pivots, you know, you'd get like a pivot here, you know, because there's just like a tiny difference because this would be like 100 and this would be like, I don't know, 99.99. Yeah, and this too. And that would be like marked as a pivot if you go and actually use this sort of pattern. Okay. So what I thought would be pretty cool, right, uh, is to actually identify pivot using other means, right? And... The first parameter is basically hill. I call it hill, hill size. Okay. And hill size is basically how many bars. So we can have a pivot a million bars long, right? It, like, I don't know, it could be, I don't know, let's say a double top or a triple top, whatever, or a single top. So hill size is how many bars on the side do we want to get? surrounding the pivot right so in this case we're talking about two okay now the second parameter right is actually hill drop hill drop or minimum hill drop is this distance so the minimum distance that we can allow right so is it one tick or is it two ticks that you want to space out etc so so this would mean we can get anything like this, like this, or whatever, as long as this distance is okay. It's bigger than whatever we set. I don't know, 0 0.25 or whatever, right? Or bigger or equal to, right? And basically, and these two parameters are just enough to identify some really cool pivots and not worry about patterns or, or anything. Okay, so let's have a look. And this particular indicator, there we go, pivot analyzer. So, uh, so we can go with the mode. I, I'm going to go with price first, hill size, minimum drop size. This is what I just explained. So two and one. One is basically probably for minute bars. This is going to be a bit too, too big. So I'm going to put like one tick. Okay. So I'm going to watch for at least one tick. Okay, so you can see it goes for all types of pivots up and down. You see, it identifies them very smoothly. Okay, and uh, and that is a uh, and that is really cool. All right, and you can go ahead and increase. So I'm gonna go like increase and go okay, 
three on three bars on the side and at least a 0 0.5 drop okay and that's going to give me less pivots so you can see this is a, a bigger one here bigger one here you know now what we see and i mean it's pretty self-explanatory with, with the price and you can get all those fake ones as well okay a small ones okay so anyway next right is what you see at the bottom it's just a pivot counter to be honest it's not i thought it would be like a very something very very cool right but i guess it could give you some edge and it just comes with the indicator i just made it uh i think the pivot like the most um valuable thing in this indicator source code uh, which is provided with the code review uh is just the pivot identification algorithm which um i think is pretty cool but as well is the is is that there's also a pivot counter that you might use as well so so for example i let's go and set it to uh watch for up pivots only okay so we could see right here these up pivots are going down so that's where let's see where it starts so this is the now this one is higher than this one so it goes up and then this one is lower than this one so it goes to minus one right here so then the next one is also lower so it goes to minus two this one is lower than this one so it goes to minus three this one is also lower so it goes to minus four and this one is higher so it goes directly from minus four to plus one and then to minus one like that okay so that's um that's all it does and if you switch it to down pivots it would actually do it for the the down facing pivots or if you switch it to both you can actually watch both okay and last but not least is uh let's say you want to analyze pivots not on price but on anything really and i'm i'm gonna use ema abcd ema as an example and so and i'm going to set the input for the pivot analyzer input series i'm going to set the ema itself okay and for the mode i'm going to go for indicator okay and i'm just going to hide the data series so it doesn't annoy us so this red is just going to go to light uh, i'm going to go to transparent and this as well to transparent okay and i'm just gonna put the body color something a bit darker so it doesn't really annoy us so that's slight gray and that is slight gray as well okay no pivots <laughs> i wonder why that is so i guess this is a bit too much for one minute ema drop size so i'm gonna go with zero point i don't know zero five okay and you can see it gives you can see it easily identifies these points here on the ma excludes some okay but you can see it's a it's a pretty smooth thing and you could play around with some settings you know you could go to 0 0.02 that'll probably give you a few more okay three okay maybe go with two here and uh so it i mean if you, if you stick it in a strategy this it's going to be a pretty fun thing to play around with right okay so um the source code 0 0.4 0 point it's a bit too much like that it's better okay so uh yeah that was about all for the showcase uh if you want the source code um just continue into the members area to check out the video on the code review take care